the vast majority of the time, vast majority of the time, is Kelly going to come out of her office and greet me? Probably no. not. No, why not? She's busy. busy. LOL. And she's not always busy. That's not the reason. Not Brad nailed it. She's not familiar with me. So guess what I'm going to do with my new pre-qualified lead? Familiar. LOL. Yeah, familiar. Nurture. I'm going to make Kelly familiar with me, even though we've never met. met. And then after <clears throat> she gets one or two or three or four points of contact from me, especially when I start mixing it up and I make it a voicemail and a drop in and perhaps even a letter and a email and I'm touching her from basically every communication point I have available to myself and I do it in a very classy respectful focused on my somebody say avatar avatar, avatar. avatar. No, the who I serve not the what I do if all my communication is about the avatar avatar or who I serve not the what, what I do what I, I do what I do. is Kelly becoming familiar with through my email my voicemail my my um uh, letter, what is she becoming familiar with? Who I serve. Your avatar. So she's becoming familiar with me, my name, Zach, and she's becoming familiar with who I serve. Now, what percentage of your prospects are in known pain looking for your solution currently? Active solution. Three. Three. So if you send your voicemails, emails, text messages, Facebook, whatever the crap you're doing is focused on what you do and who you work for, what percentage can you expect to continue to move through your process? Roughly 3% of low-hanging fruit and then the others that you can overcome their objections. You following me? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If we flip that on its head and say, no, as I'm building familiarity, doing the law of familiarity, they each and every step are becoming more familiar with my name, that's it. And who you serve. Not what I do.